Hey, what's up everybody, my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, today, well, uh, it's been quite clear uh, lately that we're nearing the end of the game. And when I look at the quest log and see what quests I want to do before we end the game, because I'm going to do most of the side quests after we completed it as well, but there's one of those quests I, well, kept to the side for a while now, and I should have done a lot sooner than now, because... Today is, is the day that I'm going to do that quest. It's the quest where we're going to try and save Olin's family. Remember Olin? The uh, dark-skinned man that betrayed us in the first place when we were back at the Nora camp at Mother's Heart, etc. So uh, we spared his life and also promised him that we would uh, try and save his family. So now we're heading toward, towards the Spurflints, which is actually in an area that we haven't explored yet. Uh... Now what? Talk to Olin optional. Oh, tramplers. Just gonna try and ignore those. Okay, my uh, charger can apparently just waltz through rocks. Where is Olin? Olin. There's Olin. Just gonna get off the charger and drop down onto Olin's head. There we go. Hello, Olin. You'll have to show me how you do that trick one day. Aloy, you're a woman of your word. Olin. Your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe, instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes, the farmstead just beyond these rocks. Oh, I think the I'll tramplers are a bit mad That's at it. me. Nestled against the spurflints. Anything? No. Okay, the tramplers are over there. Nestled against the spur flints. Oh. Too late. Yeah, that's pretty, cl pretty clear at the moment. Do we need to be stealthy? Because... The we... Aloy, down behind this rock. Yeah, I know where you are. I was kind of confused by the fact that we were having combat music in a non-combat scenario. So yeah, I also uh, put the shield weaving armor back on. Being so close, and yet it's almost over. Why are we yelling? How many eclipses are we talking? From what I've seen, a fair few, well armed and armored, bowmen watching from the ridges. But there's no space for their machine demons. Okay, so that's good. You've been watching for a while. What's the best way in? You think if I had a head for strategy, either of us would be in this mess? Fair point. We are not really helpful, are you, Olin? Classroom style, or take it from the sides or the ridge above. Maybe you could get on the rooftops. Not me. I'm too heavy cast. Okay, so I Should think I I'm going to take alone? the ridge then. I don't doubt you could, but with the eclipse, there's always another blade at your back. So I'll watch yours if you let me. Fine. Um. You know what? I better work alone. No. You wait here. Be ready to follow when the fighting stops. Oh, I'll be ready. So yeah, Olin, take it easy, because uh ooh, she looked she looked really suspicious at him, so I shouldn't be able to get higher up here. I think. Get over here! She's here coming! We go. Oh, that was uh not really stealthy, but hey. There he goes. Night comes. Yeah, I'm just gonna murder all these fools. There we go. There we go. Hmm, recover the cellar key. I'm guessing it's on this guy's body. Nope, Hello. Not, the, not the dead bringer gun. There we go. Put that down again. Did I just accidentally kill that boar with it? No. Oh, I can't even kill that boar. Okay then. Um, key, key, key. Let's head up there and open up the cabinet. A cabin up here. Or is this that guy holding the... Oh, for, farmstead key. There we go. And then the farmstead is down here. 
And to the side, open the salad doors. Come By sticking on, the key on. in, of course, not jamming your spear in the gap. There we go. And there they are. Fine as always. Ooh, and there's a lot of food on the table here. Hello. We heard the commotion outside. You're not one of them. Who are you? I am not stealthy Aloy. I'm gonna get you out of here. I hadn't given up on hope, but I'd forgotten the taste of it. Is it safe for us to leave? The eclipse won't be stopping you. Then it's over. I dreamed of escape a thousand different ways. But all of them put my son at risk. You survived. You protected him. That's what matters. Now, your husband's waiting for you. Olin! Yes, indeed. I think he has something to tell you. Because he has done some pretty stupid things to, uh... God damn it. Barney! Barney! Thank you. To keep you guys alive. So let's see how that conversation goes. There we go. Let's talk to him to finish up the quests. That's a really, really short quest, by the way. I heard the fighting stop. Olin! You brought him back to us. Kind of, thank yes. You. There's no need to thank me. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. And others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Olin. Yeah, indeed. But heed us. And his demons. I am honor bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dyson like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do. Well, um, about that. You kind of know what her mother was, who her mother was, and in a way, well, it all turned out okay. So, um, that's one side quest on. That went a little faster than I expected, I think. Of course, we have a, a bit more time to do a few more. So, I'm gonna do that side quest where those uh, guys had uh, trouble in the mines because there were people getting murdered. So, that's, yeah, that's a bit more than trouble, but... Let's see about that. See you guys there in a second. There we go, we're in the quarry. Yeah, I dropped down a bit, so that's why my shield weaver armor is freaking out. But, um... Let's investigate why those rocks kept disappearing. And, of course, where the, uh, who killed the guard. Well, I think I have a pretty good idea already. You can only see those mounds. Rock yeah. breakers make these mounds when they attack. With rock breakers, so yeah, there we go. That's probably going to be the problem. They look pretty cool, though. So the rock breakers are the terraforming machines, then. Hello! Well, that's a nice introduction to rock breakers. Okay! So, freeze bombs. go a frozen rock breaker oh come on let's take out its balls they're not yeah okay never mind This is gonna be pretty easy because he's pretty low level. There we go. That should be all the paws. He's not gonna be able to do much now. Maybe I should go for a bit of uh, freezing damage. Uh, 
and good. Ow. I was gonna say goodbye, but there we go. Goodbye, sweet prince. That's a jerk breaker. That's ooh, stealth weave. Always like a stealth weave, so let's take all that. Pretty much at the edge of my capacity, I believe, but how do I get back up? And oh, over there, over there, there's a path. Completely missed that the first time. Let's go talk to the man upstairs, well, at the edge of the quarry, and tell him, uh, well, I'm assuming they saw what happened. Because they got a, a pretty nice view of uh, me killing that rock breaker. Imagine you just wanting to do that side quest and you get annihilated by the rock breaker on your first attempt. That would have been pretty, uh, pretty rootless. So hello, quarry foreman. I've never seen a machine like that. Whoa, nor a hunter so bold. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's going to argue that you don't deserve it. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. Yeah, another very, very quick side quest. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to check out another one then, because, uh, yeah, that was way too fast. So give me a second. What made these Clintox attack? I better speak to whoever's in charge. So, yeah, um, a few episodes ago, I warped to Pitchcliff again to try and uh, get a bit close to our objective at the time. And um, Pitchcliff was under attack by a lot of Glint Hawks at that time. I killed them all, but I cut it out of the episode because, well, it was kind of a distraction to uh, from what we were doing at the time because uh, we were doing the main quest. So, uh, but we're going to continue on that side quest because that started the side quest to check out how, uh, why they were attacked, but I think... What the? What was that? That sounded like a beacon of some sort. Okay, so there's a... A staircase with a ladder on the top. That doesn't seem like a very handy way of doing things. So, let's talk to Rallard, and he should be able to tell us, uh, where those, uh, Glint Hawks were coming from. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where do you come from? I heard the Glint Hawks attacking. They're scavengers. They don't hunt for sport. What's drawing them here? Has to be the blasted Karja. If we're in an era of peace, why am I elbow deep in Glint Hawk Bung? They keep coming in waves. Okay. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glint Hawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Asaram use our scrap, not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Okay then. So, did you use any lures? Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? No, it's not a Nora joke. So, uh, where are these Karja coming Why from? Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glint Hawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glint Hawks? If I ever get a break from them, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. Well, let's check that out then. What exactly do you do here? As mayor, I order people around. Gotta be playing hammer to get things done. Can't stand those Karja chunks and their flowery talk. Okay, but then. since we helped the Karja get rid of their rotten king, it's been peace and brotherhood and all that dung. You don't think the peace will last? Don't have time for peace. I got Karja merchants begging for a discount on the gate tax and Glint Hawks attacking, which is worse. I think the Glint Hawks are a lot worse, but I'll why investigate. Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? Yeah, pretty you good. could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel, a Karja is behind all this. Okay. Let's go check it out then. Um, investigates Pitchcliff. 
hall. That's a very vague statement, because do I need to Ooh. what the hell? That device is sending out a signal. I knew it! Might be what's attracting the Glintox. I heard Turn it beeping. Off. Turn off! I heard it beeping when I went down here, so. Dude, what are you doing? Um, what are you doing? By the sun! It won't turn off! That device is making the Glint Hawks attack. Turn it off. Uh, I think he just told you he to can't turn, turn it, it off. More than I know how I turned it on. I scrounged it from an old workshop. That's uh, yeah. There we go. Kind of missed the sound effect there. There we go. <sighs> Done. Well, that should do it. That was some weird now animation start there, talking. but. Let's, uh, let's ignore that. Where did you find Why that? Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Yeah, Including not the sacrifice, the sacrifice of, of yeah. Innocence? Those oh, glint swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. Okay, then. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Get to the point. Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment, the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. Ooh. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world. As we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? <laughs> oh. No, Get to the I point. didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Yeah, like you just did. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glintox? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. That would have been a sight. So, uh, I need to find this that workshop indeed. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. Uh, okay, then. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. Huh, I'm wondering where that workshop is. Well, it's, it's definitely over there somewhere, but... Go to the campsite. Give me a second and I'll see you guys over there. So I'm trying to get up the mountain, but there's already Glint Hawks attacking me. So I'm hoping I can get pretty close on my charger here. Oh, I think I'm just gonna have to go off. There we go. Keep going. Don't think they're attacking anymore. I don't see any red markers anymore, only yellow ones. Oh, ah. Uh. There we go, there's the campsite. Let's ignore all the murderous robots trying to kill me. And let's go to this camp over here. Okay. So the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. Okay, so the avalanche destroyed the normal path, but looks like we can get a bit further. Jesus Christ, why Aloy? Sometimes she does the craziest turns, turnarounds. Come on, to the right and then up. Okay, still quite a ways off from the uh, from the workshop. Red light. Long lag. It's been a while. Oh, come on.
That was a nice sound. Oop, that was... That might have been a bit stupid. Kind of almost killed myself there. So two long legs. Nothing to worry about. It looks like I'm running out of carry capacity as well because I don't think I got that um, lens. I cannot drop this item right now. Ah, because I was in the middle of an animation. I don't care. Okay. Let's just continue on our way and try to find that workshop. Because that might actually hold a few interesting items for me as well. Fire bellow back. And the bridge over there. Good. Luckily I didn't just run across because that would have killed me. It's been a while since I fought one of these as well. There we go. Goodbye. There we go. Easily taking out everything we come across. Because I think we're a bit over leveled. Oh, what the hell is that? That's a stormbird. Yeah, okay. Since we're going. But Allure brought that stormbird here. If I find any and destroy them, the machine should leave. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of ammo. Ow. So if I go inside, I should be able to take out... Okay. Take out the lures. Yeah, that's destroyed this thing. It's able to lures and kill the storm birds. Get over here. Oh shit, he's gonna do a dive bomb. I think that was a hit. one There we go. A frozen bird. Okay. 
I need to get to his... There we go. There goes the explosion. In the chest. Woo! Okay then. That was great. All the storm bird on the table and I was thinking I'm just gonna do some uh, some side quests. Yeah, some simple side quests. Um Any more lures. Oh, yeah, indeed. There are. So there's two more nearby. There's one. And then the last one is over there on the other side again. Let's take a few metal shards. I have all the money in the world, but I need to destroy this thingy. Done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. Investigate the workshop. Maybe there's something in it for me. Maybe I get a cool weapon or something. So that's the lure, but there's something else over there. Notes. Okay, let's read about that. Oh. So Durval was behind these lures. Brilliant. And dangerous. Huh, interesting. Bring word back to Pitchcliff. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to Pitchcliff, so I'll see you guys there in a second. Mr. Mayor. I solved your problem. Hello, Rollart. You'll be happy to know I Rolart. found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliff and my family, I thank you. You're welcome. Glad I could help. So there we go. And another extraordinary reward box. So, uh... With that done, I'm gonna say goodbye for now. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye.